Shaver 1000 here. Uh, there's Monkey over to the left of me there. Say hi, Monk. Hi. <laughs> I was going to do this later tonight, but she said, Are you going to do your backpack video? I said, Yeah, maybe later. Why? She said, Well, then I can sit there and I'll be real quiet and I'll watch you. I was like, Why do you want to watch me? She goes, Because I want my backpack. Because she's getting my old backpack. So that thing's been a good backpack, though. Still in perfect perfect condition so this is what she got me on wish they just call it the larger size right on what what did you call it what did i say backpack on what oh timu wish team same thing anyway <laughs> like the other ones measured in um liters these just well, they have a small and like a larger, right? Hello? They had large. But they have different sizes. Yeah, they do. But they don't go by liters. They just go by like large and medium and whatnot. But it's okay because this is the size I wanted. And how I knew I wanted it, I, I scrolled when she said, Here, pick out the pack you want. I want to make sure I get you the right one. So, I found a picture of a guy wearing it. So, I judged it from the picture of the guy that was wearing it on his back. So, what I'm going to do here, there's that. This is big enough to fit my tent hammock. So, everything for my tent hammock is in that bag there. So, it's going to fit in here perfectly. And the liner, it doesn't come clear out, but it comes out so you can wipe it off stick back in there just like that it's got a pocket up here on top I don't know what you guys are seeing here on the top of it there's a pocket up here the smaller pocket here there's a bigger larger pocket down here it's got places I can hang stuff on here and it's got you know, I can stuff something in there if I want. The good thing about this is in an emergency situation, you can take this off and use it as cordage if you needed to. And the zippers, if you can see that. They're larger holes, so you can put, like, hang small stuff on them if you want to. Keys, whatever. So... I'm going to do is first let's put our, our uh, hammock tent in here I don't think it'll lay long ways so it's just going to stand straight up just like that what I like about this is so I've got one of these on here because I use that certain things I can carry it like this I can hang it off there if I want, or I can carry it like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this down inside of here, stand it up, just like that. Now, what we're going to do, back you up here a little bit, we're going to, it's off of here. My water jug, that's a great water jug, man. This thing is awesome. Um, so, this will be, I don't know if it'll fit down in there. It might, we'll have to see. If not, I can hang it off of something. It's not a big deal. I'm actually, that little carabiner that I showed you on this, on my backpack or on my tent hammock tent it actually goes on here that's where that that goes um, so I can hang that anywhere okay so let's go ahead and start taking my stuff out of here this is a little bit of Vaseline um, I need to find a little littler jar I thought I had a little jar of Vaseline but um, this is for 
uh, like sealing little holes in tents or a zipper if you have a zipper that's not working right or it might be leaking a little bit of water you rub this on there it makes all that problem go away now we're going to get this is for the um, thermal cell set it up there and this is uh this is dryer lint so that's handy to have as a fire starter. It burns up quick, but you, you have enough time. This is uh, one of those for the um, for the thermocell. This one's empty. This I keep oil in for my little saw. Monkey always uses this for her yogurt. <laughs> so I was like, where's your spoon? This is another empty one. I grabbed one last time we was out camping and the brand new one was empty. Now, it wasn't empty when we bought it, of course, but I would say the heat evaporated it. Let's see here. What else we got down here? And here's my little Swiss Army knife. It's a nice one. I got one that her dad had. It's a real one. There's this thing. This is for my sleeping pad. I forgot to put in my sleeping pad. Now, I'm going to unzip this. Take this stuff out. It's got a multi tool and a knife. This is a razor knife. So that's pretty nice. From Schaefer. And you can put it on your belt or hang it off of something in your pocket or whatever. That's pretty nice. Another knife there. I'm going to give Monkey one of those because I've got plenty of knives. And this is my knife, fork, and spoon set. Like I said, I always carry this for Monkey so she can have her, <laughs> her yogurt. Right, Monk? Yeah. Her and Bruno. Like yeah. It. They like their yogurt. Mm -hmm. There's some extra cordage here. it in that bag or that pouch. Now we got this little pouch here with smaller things. A lighter. Always have an extra lighter. I have multiple ways. Okay, see that one? That's why you don't buy the junk lighters for emergency situations. Because if anything the sparks more important than the fuel that's in here. So I mean you can still you know, use use it. But then here's my fire striker here. Another fire striker. Like I say, multiple ways. You know, set this down, lose it. You know, I've got another one. Plus, I smoke, so I always have a lighter. Which, I think even if you don't smoke, you should always carry a lighter in your car. Or... I'm not sure what this is. I don't have my glasses on me. I don't know what that's from. Light mix, sound responsible string lights. This was from when I did my solo uh -huh. and I hung my lights on my tent. Yeah, that's when right. When I took the tractor yeah. and made a, made a tent out of the trailer. All right. Out of my homemade trailer. Okay, so that's it for that. And I've got this. It's a hand warmer, but it's also a, uh, 
USB charging device. It doesn't like really charge a whole lot like your phone, but it'll put it up 20 some percent enough to make a phone call. This will light a small light and keep it on for a while. And this monkey made me get and carry with me is my first aid kit. I wonder, because we was talking about this when I got bit by that spider last time we were out. She said there's probably bite stuff in here, and I don't know, there may be, but there's a whistle in here. Yeah? Yeah. Slim Rescue Holler. Howler. I'm not going to blow it real loud, but... I think the list is on the back. But we've got... We've got clippers and or tweezers and uh, tape and stuff. Never had to use this. Hope I never do. It's one to two people. Medical supplies and survival tools. Uh, it's got wound care, medical information, easy care, first aid, and survival survival tools. It's got the Slim Rescue Howler, which is the whistle. Oh, it's got a compass button in here, liquid-filled compass button. So it's got a compass in here. Uh, wound care, it's got antiseptic, wound wipes, uh, bandage adhesive fabric, one by three inch, um, fabric for your knuckle, extra large adhesive. Oh, it's got butterfly closures. In case I cut myself, I used to carry a suture kit, but these butterfly things work just as good, if not better. Um, cause I, twice I've had to suture myself up out in the wilderness. Um, <clears throat> it's got a uh, sterile gauze, a three by three inch, and then it's got another sterile gauze, uh, two by two inch, and then it's got half inch by 10 yards of tape. Um, it's got a, uh, elastic bandage, which is two inch, uh, blister relief, mm -hmm. so in case I burn myself. Uh, it's got a splinter picker and tick removal forceps. That was the little tweezers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, it does have medications. Triple antibiotic ointment. Mm -hmm. After bite sting and itch relief wipe. She was right. Mm -hmm. That would have been great to put on when I got that spider bitten. Because that hurt, guys. And it hurt for hours. And I felt sick the next day because of that. Yeah. Um... And it's got antihistamine, 25 milligrams. Uh, what's that? A Acetamonopin. <laughs> Acetaminophen. Acetam 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 <laughs> 500 milligrams. And then it's got aspirin. I cannot take aspirin. So I should replace that with Tylenol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in an emergency situation, I would take the aspirin if I had to. Right. But uh, I'm not supposed to because, you know, it's a, bl it's a blood thing. Right. So that's handy. And these. What are these in my bag? These are hand warmers. Did you put them in there? No. You had to. No. She sneaks stuff in here because she wants me to be safe. And <laughs> especially when I'm by myself. If she don't trust I'll do the right thing. Like instead of putting on a bandage, I'll I'll just cauterize it with a hot knife. I'll put a knife in a fire and I did that once. So twice I've had to suture myself one time I cauterized my You're wound. not using insect bite stuff that this, you have and just This came in um, pepperonis, wasn't it? Yeah. It's little but it's plastic, so I thought, you know. A little cutting board, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see um, fire starting stuff. Should get everything out of here. I don't wanna... It's amazing how how much you have in that little pack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here's my kit. She used the bag for something else. I don't know what, but she did. Oh, my, my diamond painting stuff. Oh, it she looks good. Well, you can have it. Thank you. <laughs> like she was going to give it back anyway, right? <laughs> so I got these. These are my, what do you call them? Uh, 
bullion cubes and then I've got a couple I've got two little tiny plates here I got another pan in here and another pan here which can also be used as a lid for that one so and then this lid for this bigger one can also be used as a frying pan so that's a pretty nice little piece of kit there. Mm -hmm. I can put this in that watertight bag. You can. Yeah, you can I mean, what if we need the watertight bag? Well, you can take it out. Yeah, because this won't rust. This it. is stainless. Yeah, so I bought that. She bought that. this on Timu. Right. One of these um, watertight bags. So. For now, I'll just put this in here, and uh, this bag's bigger than what what it looks, you know. Mm -hmm. Now you know what I put in here. My extra set of clothes. And you can do that too. That's what I'll use this for. Okay. Extra set of clothes. That way they'll stay dry. Because mm -hmm. that's big enough, I'll be able to put an extra set of clothes in. So I need to find a little baggie for this. You want your bag back? I no, can no, <laughs> no. I don't want it back. And is that in it? I think so. She's excited about her bag. This is my sleeping pad. This. The reason why I bought such a big one was because I didn't know how much I would use. So I thought. I told her when we bought this, I'll use it that way I know how much I use and I'll just get a new one. Hell, I've had this, what, two years, three years? Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> had a long time. So, there's still enough in there for another cook or two. So when that runs out, I will get a smaller. Then I got extra cordage here. It's a paracord, but it's cheap, cheap paracord. This is my pillow. I like that pillow, by the way. Good, this is my little stove is in here. Oh, this actually goes on the stove, but I took it off because you never know when you need a ring and a chain. Yeah. Survival situation. You never know. So that's why I saved that. Okay, what else we got? All right, then in another Wait, what's this bag for? We've never deciphered where this came from, did we? Don't remember. <clears throat> don't it's know. something. Yeah, it's something, all right. Hmm. But I'll use that to put some of that other stuff in. And I'll always carry extra pegs. That way I don't have to make my own. I don't know why I kept that. And I've got extra pegs in here. Um, extra tent pegs and extra cordage is in here. I can't remember what this was for. Your old heart? No, yeah. I sent everything went to um, um, Dennis. Oh. I have to get a tarp. I'm pretty sure it don't go in my tent. Okay, so vinyl patch repair. That goes to my um what do you call it? Sleeping. Sleeping pad. I think that's it in there. So I think that's everything except for what's on the outside. I probably don't have to carry these. But I like to keep these big ones for sand. Yeah. We're in Florida. Sandy. Um, these these stakes will not stay in sand. These will. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably why I kept them in here. Mm -hmm. 
but I probably don't need them in here. They should probably go in our other stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, then I've got I've got my machete. There's another fire striker mm -hmm. and a sharpener, knife sharpener right there. And this is a my deer antler uh, magnesium flint stick. There's the magnesium, scrape some of that off. Then there's your flint stick, magnesium flint stick. <clears throat> so, I'll put this back in here. So it doesn't fall out. This is what uh, my friend Ryan gave me. I think I did a review on it. Puts out a pretty good spark. Well, I think the company that made this is no longer in business. No? They're not selling products anymore. Oh, that's It's shame. a real deer antler, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll have to get that hook back in there so it doesn't fall out. And then, a knife. And my little hatchet. All right. So now I got to figure out what's. I'm going to figure out what's going to go and where and why and how. And then. Um, Is it empty now? Yes, one. I see empty. one thing hanging. It's orange on the back. That's my whistle. Yeah. I have. See, a I keep it on the front. Because mm -hmm. that's your strap that comes down here in case you see bear. You know, it's right there. You know. I have a whistle, but it's in the boat. All right, you can have my whistle. Sheesh. You need your whistle. There, she can have the whistle. And she's going to get a good sharp knife. She can put that oh, however she wants it. There. But that, is that for when you're bad? And she can have this. Huh? No, that's your fork. You need your fork. No, I don't. Yes. I got I got this. I've got fork, spoon, and knife in it. Are you sure? Yes. She can have this. I like too. that one for yogurt. I know. That's why she's getting this. So let me figure out what all I'm gonna put, where I'm gonna put it at on that. Um, this bag, like I said, I cannot remember where this bag came from. Came from something you got. Or what it's for. I don't know. So. I don't remember either. <clears throat> I really don't. My hammock? No. No. Uh -uh. All right. Let me figure out what I'm going to do, guys. Okay, guys. I got it all packed up. I've still got... As you can see, plenty of room in here. Like I said, this will be a smaller can once this runs out. I got a, probably two or three more cookings with this. So I've got my tent, my um, tent hammock in there. I've got my um, pillow. I've got my uh, inflatable, my air pad. That's all down in here with an extra set of clothes that I'm just going to keep in here that I don't wear very often that I will keep just in here. That way I'm just ready to go. What I want to get, I want to get a, uh, a food dehydrator. Um, that way I can make my own jerky. I can make, you know, when I make homemade uh, chicken noodle soup, I can dehydrate that stuff. Put it in those uh, sealable baggies, not the Ziploc, but they make baggies. They're like a silver color. You put them in there and they seal up. They'll keep forever. Spaghetti, um, goulash, uh, you know, things like that. Chili. And I can dehydrate it and put them in them pouches and put them in here, or probably in this, you know, pouch here. And it'd be, you know, that'll be good when I need them. That way, if I decide. I want to go on a trip I can just grab this and go there's plenty of room in here for more stuff um, it's like a sleeping bag my sleeping pack my sleeping bag probably won't fold up enough to get in here I, it, it may fit 
but so I'm gonna so I want to get a, a smaller one you know for backpacking so that'll you know fill that up and it's also got this to to cinch that up like that because this is water resistant so that'll cinch up pretty tight there and these come over here just like that and this is a water resistant bag it's not waterproof of course but um, is that and up on top here I've got I've got a trash bag I've got my fire starting stuff uh, fire strikers uh, I've got a pocket knife in here my Swiss Army knife so that that's all stuff that's up in there plus I've got more room to stick more stuff in there if I need to um, and in this pack here or this this one here got some fire start starters um, I got my hand warmer which that's to charge my phone if I need to you know try to get out on a 911 call hand warmers this stuff and I also have my um, you know my Sheffield um, I also have my dryer lint in there and still there's I could pack more stuff in there if I had to or if I want to later on I don't want to overload my pack not because I don't think it can take it it's because I don't think I can take it so that's what's in there and then here I've got a couple extra carabiners I had hanging on them. So in this pocket here, I've got my knife and I've got my little hatchet. Um, let's see, oh, also down in here, down and in, stuffed inside of here, I have my uh, my little machete. Then in this side, I have, I forget what I have in this side. I gotta get these zippers used. There we go. Oh, I've got my extra paracord, I've got this stuff. I think that's all I got in, in that side. There's still room, again, if I wanna put something else down in there. The heaviest thing is my tent hammock. It's like five pounds. So it goes down in there. And then in here I have a raincoat, first aid kit, um, and my cookware down in here, which I may move the cookware over into here and like put my and put my sleeping pad pad in here. Not sure yet, but I wish they were metal zippers, but. A lot of guys don't like the metal zippers because, you know, metal will rust, but if you keep keep the Vaseline on them, they won't. So let's go ahead and put, like I said, this, this I can fill this up a lot more, that much more. So I could probably stuff my sleeping, sleeping bag in there, but right now I, I am not going to need that sleeping bag. I probably won't. That sleeping bag I got probably only needs to be used the end of December... Uh, but through February, maybe half of March-ish. So let's go ahead and let's put this on. Um, 
Let me move you. There's too much light. There we go. Go ahead and put this on. I haven't put it on yet. Oh, and I got my water bottle on here. Of course, it'll be full. I got my water bottle on my right side because I'm right handed and it's on with a little carabiner um, I may put it around this I don't know I'm also got these little clips up here if I want to hang something up here but I didn't want that big water bottle hanging down around here so let me see here Okay, this is very comfortable. Let me turn the clip around here. There we go. There's what it looks like. I can't see, but yeah, this is what I've been wanting. It is kind of heavy, but not as heavy as some of them guys carry, man. Some of them guys carry, you know, like actual pots and pans, cast iron stuff, and Granted, they make it look like they hike 12 miles, but they pretty much just hiked out of sight of the truck. <laughs> and, but, um, I don't know what this weighs. Let me go weigh it. Okay, so it weighs 20.83, so just shy of 21 pounds. So not too bad, and I got more, I can, more room I can put in here. I can adjust it, um, put my stuff in different ways, you know, as I go. To make it you know feel a little lighter but yeah it feels better than the other one already so I had all this stuff in that other one which it held it but I didn't have room for an extra pair of clothes I didn't have room for a sleeping bag which I do in this one but it came out more to the back like that instead of more up and down so uh, I still got room in my sides if I want to put stuff in the side pockets. And I've got my water jug here. Of course, that'll be full, but yeah. And your food, you'll have to put that in there. Yeah, I know my food I already talked about that. So, and if I want, I can hang light stuff off here. I just don't like stuff moving around here. But. So, I'll have to hike with it and see what I think. But I already like it better than the other one, so. That's a yeah, so, yeah. So, like, I might put, like, some light stuff in the bottom and then the heavier stuff up on top a little bit, kind of have, you know, equaled out. But I think it's going to be fine, so. There we go. Thanks, monkey. You're welcome. I <laughs> like it. Yeah. So now, got to get out in the woods. <laughs> Try it out, huh? When it gets cooler. Yeah, because there's some places I want to hike to. So, like, up at the cemetery. <laughs> the haunted cemetery. I want to hike up there. There's places I can camp out up in there and stuff. So, yeah, I like it. So, I mean, maybe later I might just decide on just a hammock, you know. Instead of a hammock bivy. Uh-huh. And that'd be lighter. We just got to see, you know. Because yeah. if, I, if I use the hammock more than I use the bivy, yeah. then, you know, I'll just get me just a regular hammock. They're lighter, but I think it's fine. 20 pounds, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys, professional backpackers, man, they'll tell you 20 pounds, that's crazy. I got my stuff down to 5 pounds. But they don't carry the stuff I carry, you know. They're more for, like, day hiking and maybe to spend the night, but they, you know, they don't have big hammock tents they just got a little tiny hammock and you know they don't have all the other stuff i've got so but i think it'll be fine so thanks for watching guys shea bear the myth the man of legend gone for now thanks monk out. check her channel out and uh she's got a video up where she gave this to me and we opened it up and checked it out so i like it so yeah you look professional oh i don't care what i look like as long as i'm comfortable Yes. That's <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.